Palutena. Oh, I'm not here to save you, Kit. So I've had a lot of Palutena mains ask me if I would please cover the character, and here we are talking about Palutena and trying to analyze anything about her. Now with that said, I'm not sure Palutena is going to be that popular of a character, but I think she's really interesting and definitely worth your time, so let's get started. So as Palutena, I think if you look at her in general, she's a character that mainly has to be in the air, because a lot of her grounded moves, at least in the past, just weren't all that great, but her aerials were actually, for the most part, really good. Everything except her downer, I think, had a lot of use. And in Smash Ultimate, it's kind of the same, but even better now. Her back air is just as good as usual. You know, you can send it behind you. It's almost invulnerable, I think, and has a huge disjoint. It's, it's amazing. Her forward air can still poke really well and, you know, sometimes start up combos. But the main two moves that actually got helped in Ultimate is going to be her neutral air and her up air. Now, both these moves are kind of interesting because they weren't bad in the last game, but they made the moves a lot better in this new game by reducing the ending lag of all these moves by quite a bit. Now, the main benefit of reducing the ending lag for these moves is that they're both multi-hit moves that can both drag people up and down. And that's going to be awesome because with neutral air, you're going to be able to drag people to the ground and go for like an up tilt. Or sometimes maybe drag people to the ground and go for a jab, or maybe drag people to the ground and go for a grab. Now, we don't know exactly which of those work. We know up tilt works, but there's a lot of good options here. As well with this, her upper shenanigans where she can pull people down to the ground with that, as well exists in this game, but now it's going to be a lot better because in the last game it actually had quite a bit of lag and, you know, could work for the most part, wasn't, you know, perfect, but now it works even better. She has both those tools even stronger than before, and I think with these she's just going to be an absolute combo fiend if you can get those started. Now, they aren't the easiest moves to hit, but if they work off of grab as well as I'm thinking, they could be very strong. So as I mentioned, she's in general, yes, an aerial base fighter. Now she did get some help with a lot of her tilts, her down tilt, forward tilt, and up tilt all seem a little bit better now, but for the most part, you're mainly on the ground and gonna be using jab and dash attack still. Her dash attack is like her back air, just insane, puts out her shield, very hard to get through, does a ton of damage, and now it comes out even faster than before, but please remember, yeah, the character still is a lot better on the air, and the main tools on the ground is gonna be jab, dash attack, and grab. Now, with that in mind, she actually got buffed in the air with her air speed, and I actually really enjoy this change because it means that her combos again are going to be even a little bit better so that she'll be able to space a little bit more in the air. And yeah, her tilts still are quite a bit worse than I would wish, but she's getting a lot more in the air to kind of make up for that. So if you like Palutena in the air already, it's just kind of like the same, but a lot better. On the ground though, she does have one thing which is very good, which is going to be throw combos or, you know, starting out combos off of her throw. Now, I really like this about Palutena because a lot of other characters lost their throw combos, or they just aren't nearly as good, but Palutena sales seems to actually have the majority of hers, and still seems to have down throw up air, which was always a really good kill move, very consistent, amazing with rage, and it all seems to be the same. Now, I'm kind of theory crafting in my mind, down throw neutral or drag downs, down throw up air drag downs, I'm not sure if they all work right now, and of course you can't down throw up air regrab because the regrab timer won't let you do that, but I can see a lot of potential combos coming out of this, and, you know, even if there aren't any new combos that, you know, appeared in Smash Ultimate, even just having the combos that she had in Smash 4 is going to be better than a lot of characters. So I think just based off her grab, she's going to be a really good grappling character and a good character in the air. The final thing that I really like about this character is going to be her new down B, her counter or reflect or whatever. And what's cool about this is that actually it is now both a counter and a reflector. And as well, it got a buff where now it actually comes out on frame 6 instead of like frame 12 or something. So it is much faster and can block every single thing in the game except for grab. And you know, of course you can still space around it, you can still just wait for her to whiff this, but this honestly has made essentially her counter go from one of the worst counters in the game to one of the most usable counters in the game. Palutena in the last game, I feel like was just a character that had so much potential to be good, but kinda ended up as a character that was a three trick pony, as I've been saying. She had her back air, her dash attack, and her grab. And you could use some of her other moves, but a lot of them were just way too laggy, way too hard to pull off, and didn't really work in the physics engine all that well. So there you go, you have those moves, and sometimes you got up air as well. And I feel like in that game, it was just really holding her down. Now in Ultimate, I feel like she actually has a much higher chance to just do better in this game. A lot of her tools seem to just work better. Her smash is still slow, but you know, they kind of work. Her tilt's still pretty slow, but they kind of work a bit better. And then her arrow's a lot better, and her grab, you know, quite a bit better. I think she has a lot more potential to be a better character. Now, I'm not saying that I think that she's going to be top tier at all. 
I'm not even maybe saying she'll be high tier, but I could see her in this game being at least middle tier, moving up a little bit and being an overall solid choice. Now, as Palutena, I'd probably recommend, yeah, you should pick up a secondary with this character if you want to win a lot of tournaments, but I think there's a lot of potential, and I think she actually has some pretty good matchups versus some of the high tiers if you play it in a certain way. So, you know, there is a lot of potential with this character. Overall, in Ultimate, she just has more options than what she had in the past, and I think they'll just make her overall a little bit better. Now, with that said, those are all my own opinions about Palutena and Smash Ultimate, a character that actually got helped a lot, and if you look at all of her changes, it's like a huge change list, but I covered the main ones in my opinion, so hopefully this will all help you out a little bit. Now, with that all said, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, comment down below your own opinion about Palutena and Smash Ultimate, as the game's coming out pretty soon, so there we go. As well, tell me if you want to main this character, or if there's any other character you want me to cover in this series. As always, at the top right of the screen right now is a card for a playlist with more Smash Ultimate analysis videos. As always, guys, thank you all for watching, and have a smashing day.